Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I pray that you guys are having a great day, an amazing day. And um, and then your morning is blessed. Well, your morning is blessed if you have, well, you listen to me, that mean you woke up. So if God allow you to wake up and see another day, I already know that your morning is blessed because God put his hand of protection on you. So, okay, so um, I have an encouraging word for you. So I woke, I woke up this morning at 6.30, you know, so I can get up and read the word. Well, child, I went back to sleep. But 7 o'clock, I got it when the alarm went off. So, of course, you know, I'm going to go to my word every time to read, you know, just read the Bible. And so when I opened it up, it went to this word. And I was like, God, I said, God, I've read this word before. God, you know, I, I read this, this, this passage before. And I closed the Bible up. I said, okay, God, if this is what you want me to read. I open back up to it. I close the Bible, open it back up again. Same thing. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, hold on. one more time, God. I was like, because that chapter, what what He had me to read is long, and you really, really have to be hearing from God with it. So I closed it up again. I was okay, God. If this is the word, you know, I'm gonna open back up again. So I closed it up, flipped it over, right back to Nehemiah three. So. As I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm like, God, this is so, this is complicated. God, this is complicated because, you know, it was complicated. And I was like, Lord, it's complicated. And so as I began to read, 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 I had to read three, four, and, you know. Anyway, so and I'm just telling y'all, I'm just giving y'all, like, when you open up the word of God, you don't always know what to read or when, you know, what you're going to read about. You just read. But so I just be trying, just trying to tell you that when you ask God to direct your path and you get in God's face, he's going to provide. So this is what it is. So as I begin to read the word, I'm a, I got to read these two scriptures to you, okay? And this is coming from Nehemiah. He says, so I prayed to the God of heaven and I said to the king, if it pleases the king and if your servant has found favor in your sight, I ask that you send me to Judah, to the city of my father's tomb, that I may rebuild it. Jeremiah 2 and 11. So it came, so I came to Jerusalem and I was there three days and I arose in the night and a few men with me. I told no one what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem, nor was there any animal with me except the one which I rode. Jeremiah, Nehemiah prayed about something and God answered Nehemiah. He told him, you can go build a wall. So we all know that anytime God puts something in our heart, if when God tells us to do something, God, you know, encourage us to do something, it's always going to be opposition. So in this, with Nehemiah, there was opposition. He didn't tell nobody what God had told him. He didn't do any of that. But through his obedience, because he had asked God, God, let me build the wall. Through his obedience of doing what God had placed in his heart, opposition came up against him, right? So the thing is that even though when, when God tells you to do something, when God puts, put it in something in your heart to do something, even to start a business, even if, if it's to pursue something, even if it's to go somewhere, when God put it in your heart, just know it ain't going to be an easy task, especially when God do it, because God gives good things to us. You know what I'm saying? And God, you know, he wants the best for us. And so if God tell you to leave a certain relationship, opposition going to come. The enemy ain't going to want you to leave that relationship because God knows our beginning to our end. God knows more about that person that you're dating than you know. God knows more about that door that you about to walk in than you know. So when God say, don't go here, don't go there, do this, do that. He's doing it for our good. So Nehemiah was on his way to, you know, to build Jerusalem, rebuild the wall. So God provision, God provided other people that was there. They were, Nehemiah wasn't doing it by himself because y'all know it take a village. It take a team of people to build. You know what I'm saying? One person just can't build. Well, they can, but it's probably going to take them forever. So Nehemiah, God had placed different people in Nehemiah's path that where they was helping him build the wall for Jerusalem. And so when you go on to, on down, by the time I get to uh, chapter four, Sam Ballot heard about the rebuilding of the wall and he was furious and he was indignant 
and he mocked the Jews. He was mad because they was building the wall. And he was like, what are these feeble Jews doing? Which he was calling them weak and said they didn't have any strength. Will they offer sacrifices? You know, Jews praise God. So Sam Bally didn't want all that going on. So he said, will they revive the stones from the heaps of the rubbish stones that are burned? So Sam Bally was questioning his mind. What about this? What about that? What if I do this? What if I do that? What can they do then? But when you go on to read in this Bible, uh, the the people that was building the wall, they got word of, um, Nehemiah got word of with Sam Ballot and some other guys, what they wanted to do. They wanted to stop the Jews. They wanted to stop them from rebuilding the wall. But they couldn't stop it because they had God on their side. And he's and, and Nehemiah was telling, yeah, y'all go ahead. You get your weapons, put your weapons on your side, whatever you need, you know, have it on your side. Just always be prepared. But in God's eyesight, they might have had their weapons, but they weren't going to need their weapons because God was going to fight for them. So I want to encourage you when God, God tell you to do something, when he puts something on your beautiful hearts, in your beautiful mind, through your beautiful lips, your beautiful ears. I want you to do it. Don't be afraid to do it. Even though opposition come up against you, God is there. God said he will fight. Remember, he said he would never leave us or forsake us. On the video that I did on last night, remember I was talking about God said you can't put new wine in old wine skin, which means what you used to do, you can't do it anymore when he's giving you something new to do. And then God backed up his word again. Then, so after I got, you know, I was, I was, I always take notes um, for my encouraging word for my newsletter. And so when I got on Facebook, um, prophetess um, Angel Williams was on and she was um, ministering about, you know, um, favor Friday. She's like, you know, let this be your favor Friday and say no more excuses, you know, favor Friday and everything that she was talking about. And God had confirmed it through her mouth with the word that he had gave me about opposition. So I just want to encourage you. I did share her, her live on my, uh, my, my story. So check the story. So again, when opposition come up against you, y'all, that's the best time where God going to do his best work. That's when God going to fight for you. If it seems too hard, too strenuous, don't trip. You give it to God. You use all of the effort that you have in you, trusting God, praying to God, and God going to send you the help you need. He going if it's a business, he going to send you the customers. He going to send you the clients. I prefer clients because, you know, clients stay with you. He going to send you that. If he telling you to walk away from a relationship that's not good for you. Okay. Trust him. Trust him and do it. If he tell you to walk in a certain door, go. Regardless if you was never welcome in that door. Regardless if you have filled out an application for a job and you got turned down. Fill out the job application. You know, no matter what it is, if God put it back in your heart, your heart right here, in your mind, in your lips, baby, you better do it. Trust God in this, in this situation. Nehemiah trusted God. That wall got built. And them others that, and it wasn't just Nehemiah, he had others with him. God going to send you what you need for what you need. So opposition who? What? Where? Child, they ain't no match for God. So that's the word of the Lord today. Father God, we thank you for this word, God. You are amazing, God. God, for those who are facing opposition, God, for whatever you have asked them to do, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. God, that I will ask you to just strengthen them in their faith. Strengthen them in their walk, God. That they will go and do what you said for them to do. And just be they, be they best, God. Even though the enemy is going to use tactics and he's going to use people to, to try to stop them and destroy us. But God, I receive your word on today. I receive your word, God. The opposition shall not. Even though if the enemy send back, other people, whatever, send back, plotting up against us, God, it will not prosper. It might form, but it might prosper. It will not prosper. It might form in that mind, but it will not prosper. So God, we thank you and we love you. And it's in Jesus of Nazareth name I pray. Amen. So catch the word, the word of God. Opposition is nothing. It's no match for our God. So y'all have a blessed day. Gotta go. Bye.